Guess what we're talking about today. I'm so excited to finally be sitting down and sharing with you guys the results from the top 10 lipsticks according to you. So this is a part of my According to You series where I've been asking you guys to submit your favorite products per category. We've gone through almost everything. We're at lipsticks now. I can't wait to share with you guys what won and how everything ranked. I'm really, really excited. Really quick before we get into this, I need your help with the last three videos of this series. We've got glosses, brows, and setting spray left, so I will have the forms in the description box and I'll pin a comment down below. If you guys wouldn't mind, just take a minute and submit your favorites in all of those categories so we can wrap up this series. I'm really wanting to finish this series by the end of the year, and I'm also pre-filming a little bit to prep for my maternity leave, so if you guys could help me, I would absolutely love that. I cannot wait to see what other products win in the last three categories. And then as you guys have requested, I will be filming a full face of all the number one products that we have discovered through this series. So again, everything will be listed and linked in the description box down below. I'm just so thankful already for all of you who have helped me this entire time through this series. You are what makes this fun. So huge thanks to everybody who submitted in any category throughout this series and especially lipsticks, which we're gonna talk about right now. So we're gonna start with the 10th place winners and there's actually four that tied in 10th. This is focused more on formula than color. However, I will mention colors if there were some that were significant or if anyone put their favorites, I'll be sure to tell you guys what colors were popular. So let's get into it. Okay, in 10th place. Well, one of the 10th place winners is dun, 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 the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. Seven people voted that this was the best lipstick and I feel like this has gone so viral recently. I bought a couple of shades a while back and I need to pick up more. I feel like I need to also use this more than I have. Anyway, let's see what you guys had to say about this. Abby said, love this formula. So glossy with good color, no need for a liner either. So easy to throw on whenever I'm getting ready quick, but also looks stunning on the lips. Katarina said, hi Ali, I'm Katarina from Portugal. Love your channel. Congratulations on the new addition to your family and I hope your pregnancy continues to go well. You are so sweet, thank you. I have very dry lips and since I tried this lipstick, I became a fan. It gives my lips the hydration they need with a beautiful color. Sure, it's not a long lasting lipstick, but for me and my needs, it's amazing. I don't mind to reapply. And then she left a word in Portuguese, which is supposed to mean kisses, and I don't even wanna to try to attempt to pronounce it in case I get it wrong. But thank you so much, Katarina, for your kind review and for those sweet words. I did wanna swatch the shades that I do have. We have the shade Orchid. Now this is kind of like a gloss and a lipstick combined in one. I do think it's a little more lipsticky. It's got quite a bit of pigment to it. I don't know, it's kind of one of those in-between products. So this shade is called Orchid. I really do like this color. And then the other one that I have is Grapefruit, which is a little bit lighter, so right there. So you can see the two that I have. Okay, another lipstick that tied in 10th place with seven votes is the Lisa Eldridge Luxuriously Lucent Lipsticks. I'm obsessed with this. I was so happy to see that Lisa Eldridge lipsticks are getting the credit they deserve. Inga said, I hope I'm saying your name right. If I don't, I'm so sorry. I do my best with your name pronunciations. But she said, I love Lisa Eldridge Luxuriously Lucent Lipsticks. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> it is a pigmented but more sheer and shiny formula. It feels hydrating and nourishing, but it looks not like a balm at all. It's a proper lipstick. My favorite shade is Kitten Mischief, but I also love Spirited Away for fall and Rose Official is almost my own lip color. That one suits me perfect. My lips but better shade. I love your videos, Allie. I watch from Belgium, Europe, and I love the series. Thank you so much. I loved your review. Thank you for letting us know how you feel about this lipstick. I also think it's gorgeous. Megan said, when someone says lipstick, the first brand that jumps into my head is Lisa Eldridge. I love her matte line, but her luxuriously lucents are my favorite, especially the new shades that came out earlier this year, the Mepri and Je Ne Sais Quoi. I love how creamy and comfortable this lip formula is for every day, and the fact that you can keep them sheer or build them up means they are super versatile. The colors are impeccable, and the packaging is super high-end for only 26 pounds. More will be added to my collection soon. Love you and the series from the UK. Thank you, Megan, for your review. I agree, these shades and the formula are so stunning. So I wanted to swatch a couple of them that I have. I actually don't have the two that Megan talked about, but I do have the one that Inga talked about. So this is Kitten Mischief. 
Here's Kitten Mischief on the back of my hand. You can see what they're talking about. And the packaging really is so beautiful. It has the magnetic closure and everything. I grabbed a couple of other shades. This is one of the new shades. Um, it's not the one that Megan talked about. This is called Meet Me in Berlin another gorgeous color that I really love. You really can't go wrong with any color, honestly, in these. And then I grabbed a brighter one. This is called Dance Card right here. I just wanted to show you a few options, you know. This is more about the formula, like I said, than the shades, but I wanted to show you kind of how they apply when swatch. You can see how they are a little bit sheer, but they are buildable. So comfortable, really love these myself. So I'm glad to see that they ranked in the top 10. Also in 10th place with seven votes is the Pat McGrath Mattrance Lipsticks. So Anna said, and she was referring to the shade Fembot, which I thought I had, but could not find. Anyway, she said, after hearing for years about Pat McGrath, I finally tried this brand when I was wedding makeup shopping last year. I love the lipstick formula and that this shade specifically is a your lips but better shade taken up a notch. I wore this lipstick on my wedding day and it did not disappoint. It's a comfortable go-to formula and worth the price to me. I love when you guys say that a certain formula or a certain color is something that you chose for your wedding day because I just feel like that just says so much about a product. Jenny said, perfect matte lip formula and the shade 1995 is stunning. The pigmentation is supreme. So other shades that were mentioned were Divine Rose, but 1995 Fembot and Divine Rose were the ones that I saw the most. So 1995 is one that I do have. I really swear I have Fembot somewhere. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. But this is a really nice, super pigmented lipstick and 1995 is such a stunning shade. So here it is on the back of my hand. It's very moussey, very blurrable. If you want to blur it out, I, I really do enjoy this formula as well. So that also ranked in 10th place. Last but not least in 10th place with seven votes again are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. So these are iconic. <laughs> Let's hear what you guys had to say. Sydney said, the formula is so velvety yet comfortable and it's been a fave of mine ever since I've discovered it. The only downside of this formula is that I find it to not be so pigmented, but it's still a wonderful product. The shade Abu Dhabi is my fave nude. Also watching your videos brings me a sense of calmness when a lot is going on in my life. Thank you, Allie, I love you. I love you too, Sydney. That means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really am so thankful for you guys and it just blows my mind that you sit down and take the time to watch my videos. And the fact that, you know, I'm able to brighten up someone's day just makes all this worth it. So thank you, Sydney, that was so sweet. Maddie said, I have so many lipsticks, but my absolute favorite one has to be the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. The formula just looks so effortless on the lips and can be sheared out or built up to be more opaque. The price is right and it doesn't dry out my chapped lips at all. My favorite shades are Istanbul and Stockholm. Lots of love from Alabama. Thank you, Maddie. Um, I have two shades that I had in my collection. I thought that I had the shade Can as well, which was also mentioned, but I don't think I do. Apparently I don't anyway. So I've got Stockholm though, which is this one right here. It's a really beautiful kind of peachy pink. And then my favorite and a lot of people's favorite is London. This is a classic. I love this one. So pretty, so comfortable, buildable, really great formula. So there's two shades out of the entire range. Now there's tons of shades in this formula, but those are the two that I have. All right, you guys, in ninth place with 10 votes is the NYX Lingerie XXL Liquid Lipsticks. Now, I'm not super familiar with this formula, but I received them in PR, and I can't wait to try them because of you guys. So let's see what you had to say about this formula. Elizabeth said, I love this formula. The pigment, the price point, and the durability of these liquid lipsticks, especially in the shades, stay in juicy. I do have more expensive lipsticks, and I still reach for these. Paired with the same brand's lip liners, they are a dream. Hi, all the way in Spain. I love your videos. I don't miss a single one. You are a light to this world. Guys, you are so nice to me. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I've always wanted to visit Spain. Thank you for your review. And you made me want to try these liquid lipsticks a little bit more. I feel like I've tried them maybe once, but I really need to give them another go, apparently. Zara said, the formula is super comfortable and it is very long lasting, needs no touch-ups throughout the day. I'm sold already. I really can't wait to try these. I really haven't given them a fair shot yet. So I'm gonna swatch three that I have. Um, we've got the shade Stripped Down. Ooh, these are like moosier than I thought they would be. So here's Stripped Down, which is right there. We've got the shade Turn On, which is like a little bit lighter. Okay, I need to keep these on my desk so I can try them. Here's that one. So pretty, this comes in so many shades, by the way. And then we have Undressed. Ooh, that's pretty, okay. Look at Undress is a little bit more mauve -y. Wow. So those are just three that I personally have. Again, there's tons of colors in this formula, but I can't wait to like give them a really fair shot. So thank you guys for your review on this. 
All right, you guys, in eighth place with 11 votes is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lipsticks. Kaylee said, hello from Ohio. I never really used lipsticks before, mainly glosses, but I wanted to try a lipstick and the Charlotte Tilbury ones always caught my attention. I couldn't fathom paying that much for them though and saw somewhere that this lipstick and Spiced Petal was a dupe for the Pillow Talk in a way. Wow, was I amazed with this lipstick. It glides on smoothly and doesn't dry out my lips. I've enjoyed using it a lot and the color is perfect. Love your videos, keep it up, Allie. Thank you, Kaylee. I will be swatching Spiced Petal because it is supposed to be a dupe. It's a very close dupe to Pillow Talk, so I'll swatch it for you guys in a minute. Allie said, I generally gravitate more toward lip glosses and tints because my lips are pretty dry, and I find that most traditional matte lipsticks just make my lips feel even drier. Not this one though. The formula is so creamy and light on my lips, it feels really wonderful. And with that kind of emollient formula, you might expect the color to be sheer, but no, the pigmentation is outstanding. I know everyone talks about Spice Petal, but my favorite is Cinnamon Crush, which is similar, but one shade darker. It's dramatic and gorgeous, and I love it almost as much as I love your channel and this series. That's so sweet. Thank you, Allie. I'm so happy that you enjoy my channel and also this series. So some other shades, actually let me go see if I have Cinnamon Crush. I really might, because I would love to swatch that. Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna swatch some of these. The most mentioned shade was definitely Spiced Petal. So this is the one that's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So here is Spiced Petal, so pretty. Here is Cinnamon Crush, which is the one that Allie talked about. Ooh, it is like the same, but a little bit deeper. How pretty is that? Autumn Rose is another one that was mentioned. So here's that one right here, so pretty. And also the shade Naked Blush was mentioned, which is right here. You can see how pigmented these are. They're not super matte, not super shiny. They're like right in the middle, but it really is such a pretty formula and it has so many shades. So there's four of the shades that were mentioned the most. In seventh place is a formula that I'm actually not familiar with, but so many people really love this. So with 19 votes, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. These are the ones that came in seventh place. Heather said, I'm a lipstick junkie and these are my favorite lipsticks of all time. So comfortable and creamy with a beautiful shade range. I like a lot of shades from this line, but the two shades I wear most are Mink and Rose Velvet. Mink is the perfect everyday true brown, while Rose Velvet is a beautiful medium rosy brown. I really need to go to Walmart and like get these colors and try more. The only ones that I own are the super lustrous matte. And I know that there's like a normal one and there's like a shine one. Anyway, I need to go try more of these because apparently you guys love them. So Annika said, these Revlon lipsticks have always been my go-to. They're affordable and so comfortable on the lips. My favorite shades are Smoky Rose for a pretty pinky brown and Bare It All for a My Lips But Better shade. I have light skin. Love you, Allie, and can't wait for the finale of this series. Love you too, thank you for submitting. I, I'm holding this up, but it's not even like a shade that was mentioned. So I'm gonna have to go to the store and try it out myself, but the super lustrous is what was seventh place. Some other shades that were mentioned a lot were Pink Pearl, Pink in the Afternoon, and Rum Raisin. Okay, in sixth place with 22 votes are, dun -da -da -da, the Rare Beauty Kind Words Lipsticks. Now these are fairly new to the market. So the fact that they ranked in sixth place really shows you that you guys are loving them. So Lava said, I love the Rare Beauty lipsticks. The range of nude and natural shades and also the darker shades in the line make it so versatile. Bold is my favorite as I find that it's a nice shade that's not too dark or light and is great to wear for work as well. Plus it goes with many skin tones and has a nice non-drying formula for a matte lipstick. The affordable price compared to other high-end brands is also great. I agree, the price is right and I really love this formula myself and the shade range. Gabby said, when these lipsticks came out, I told myself not to buy them because they were just nude lipsticks, but my lack of self-control broke and I bought one and two of the lip liners. This is such a good lipstick because of the shade. I think this whole range is amazing, but the shade Worthy specifically is so gorgeous and suits my skin tone perfectly. Congratulations on your pregnancy. I'm so happy for you. I love your channel and the series. I rewatch this playlist constantly. Love you. Mwah. That's so cute, Gabby. Thank you so much and thank you so much for your kind words. You are the sweetest. So let's swatch the most mentioned shades, shall we? So first let's swatch the one that Lava talked about. So this is called Bold. So pretty. I really love this. And by the way, I do have a whole swatch video of this formula, so I'll have that linked down below for you guys if you wanna see the entire range of this lipstick. So here's Bold, here's Worthy, which is what Gabby talked about. I love this shade myself, it's so pretty. There's that one right there. Other shades that were mentioned quite a bit were Lively, which is this one, a more kind of peachy color. 
Fun, which is this one right here, really pretty as well. And also the shade Gifted, which is a really unique, very flattering kind of plummy brown color. So there's the five most mentioned, but again, if you wanna see the full range, I will have my video down below. This really is such a good formula and I thought it was cool to see that it ranked so high, even though it's such a new formula to the market. In fifth place, with 31 votes are the Lisa Eldridge True Velvet Formula. So two Lisa Eldridge formulas ranked, which is just so fun. I am a sucker for these lipsticks myself, so let's see what you guys had to say. Lisa said, these lipsticks are my vice. I have at least half of the available colors and all the matching lip liners to go with them. Same girl, I, I love them so much. I think my main attraction to these, apart from the wonderful matte formula, is that Lisa Eldridge really knows how to pick the most flattering colors and undertones. These are such splurge, but compared to some other luxury lipsticks, these really do feel so luxe. From the magnetic component to the golden finish to the velvet texture, on the bullet, I cannot get enough. I loved your review, Lisa. I have to agree, these are so stunning. And something really special about the velvet formula itself is look at the texture of the actual lipstick. It almost looks like it has velvet wrapped around the outside. It's so beautiful. Brenda said, I'm afraid to say this because these lipsticks go out of stock all the time, but they are truly amazing. They're a true work of art from the packaging, colors, and formula. You can tell Lisa makes them with so much love and passion. They're super pigmented, they never make my lips feel dry, and they are just so luxe and beautiful. Love you and your channel, Ali. Greetings from Mexico. Thank you, Brenda, I love you too. And thanks for your review on the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. They really are so stunning. So let me swatch a couple of these for you. I just grabbed three. So these were some of the most mentioned. Velvet Fawn, which is such an incredible color. Here it is right here. And you can see it's got more of a moussey texture. It's very pigmented. So this one is Velvet Fawn. The next one is Velvet Affair, which is one of my personal favorites as well. A little bit more browny orange. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it, but you can see it right here. And then we've got Velvet Blush which is a little bit more of like a berry. It's so pretty. Other ones that were mentioned were Midnight, Dragon, Cinnabar, and Jazz. But I really feel like you can't go wrong with any color in this formula. It's so, so pretty. Next up in fourth place with 40 votes is the MAC Matte Lipsticks. What a classic. Vilma said, MAC Matte Lipsticks are not drying or too oily. They don't fade and have a lot of pigment without looking smudgy or messy. I love the shade Mare, especially in the autumn and winter. Thanks for the series and love from Finland. Thank you, Vilma, for your review. Mare is actually a color that was mentioned so many times and I've never tried it before, so that's on my wish list now. Sonia said, I love lipsticks. I own a lot. But whenever I don't know what to put on, my go-to is Velvet Teddy. I just love this shade so much. Love you and your videos so much. Thank you so much. I love you too. I've got three to swatch for you guys. Velvet Teddy being the most mentioned. 19 people out of the 40 people that submitted this formula specifically mentioned Velvet Teddy. So let me swatch that first for you guys. Such a pretty color. There's that one. Mare was mentioned five times. I don't actually have that one, unfortunately. Um, Ruby Woo, which is the red color. It's iconic. This was mentioned several times. So there's Ruby Woo. And then I've also got Diva, which was mentioned, which is like a little bit of a deeper berry tone. Honey Love was also mentioned, which I have, and I've been using like crazy, and I don't know where it is. It must be in a purse somewhere. So these are the three that I'm gonna swatch for you guys today. Those were some of the top mentioned shades. Also, Taupe was mentioned quite a bit, but I really need to go pick up the shade Mare because it just looks like a color I would love. It has a little bit more of a cool tone. I don't know. I was really excited about that color specifically. All right, you guys, we've moved into the top three. So in third place with 56 votes are the Milani Color Fetish Lipsticks. Rachel said, these are the best lipsticks ever. I love them so much. I could wear them every single day. My favorite shades are Peony and Secret. Thanks for making these videos and for your genuine spirit. Love from Tennessee. Thanks, Rachel. I love Tennessee. <laughs> I have visited many, many times. It's my favorite. Actually, my husband and I got engaged in Tennessee, which was really fun. So thank you for your review. By the way, I really hope I'm pronouncing your names right. I'm so sorry if I don't get everyone right. You all have such beautiful names. So Raja said, love, love, love this formula. It's difficult for me to get my hands on in small town Saskatchewan that rhymed. <laughs> but believe me, I try my hardest. It lasts, is beautiful, flat flattering color selection, smells amazing, gorgeous packaging, I could go on, XOs. I loved that review. Jessica said, these are just as good as high-end lipsticks, if not better. I find myself reaching for these over Chanel and Dior lipsticks. I mean, come on, that's pretty major. So let's swatch a couple. Secret was mentioned by at least 11 of you guys. 
Secret is my favorite shade in this formula. I personally love it as well. It's so pretty, look at that, amazing. And then also mentioned quite a bit is the shade Tease, which is this one. A little bit more of like a caramely nude. And also the shade Peony, which is stunning. I love this one as well. It's a little more cool toned than Secret, but very, very similar. So there are three colors from the range, but again, there's so many different shades and this formula really is so luxurious and the packaging truly, and the packaging is really, really beautiful as well. So the Milani lipsticks were in third place. Now in second place, this one was a little bit tricky to count and you'll see why in a second. So with 78 votes, the Maybelline Superstay lipsticks came in second place. However, in the Superstay line, there were three formulas that were mentioned quite a bit. So. Some people just said Superstay, so I wasn't sure which one they were talking about, but I grabbed the three that were mentioned. We're gonna talk about them all. I'm gonna tell you guys a review of each. So anyways, this one was a little tricky because Superstay is not just one formula, but it's an entire line of lipsticks. I will say most people mentioned Vinyl Ink, the second most mentioned was Matte Ink, and then the third most mentioned was The Crayon. So we're gonna start off with the Vinyl Ink review which came in from Karen. She said, I used to not wear any lipstick because my lips dried so bad with any lip product. And also they didn't last long, so I didn't see the point. But since I've tried the Maybelline Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipsticks, I've been loving these. They don't dry out my lips, they last so long, and the shades are so versatile. You almost don't need to buy another lip product. They have a shade for any look. I personally love the shade Koi. Allie, you are so beautiful in and outside. Love the good vibes you always project. And your voice relaxes me because I watch and listen to your videos when I'm home working. Thank you so much, Karen, you are so sweet. And thank you for your review on these vinyl lipsticks. So this is actually the shade Koi, the one she talked about, which I'll swatch in a bit. I personally love this formula as well, it's incredible. Moving on to the Superstay Matte Ink. A review for this came in from Natalie, specifically the shade Seductress, which is this one, which I'll swatch, which is my perfect nude. These are the best long wearing lipsticks around. They do not budge. Yes, they don't completely dry down and do stay a little tacky, which I know some people don't like, but if I ever need a lipstick to last all day, this is what I reach for. I have about five different shades. I love that. Thank you, Natalie, for your review on this. Nikki talked about the crayon and she said, everyone and their mom has heard of the Maybelline Superstay line, but I'm not a fan of the lip products that are matte and dry out your lips. These lip crayons are so creamy and comfortable and they have amazing staying power. They have gorgeous shades. My favorites are Trust Your Gut and Stay Exceptional. Bonus, they're from the drugstore, so you can't go wrong with those prices. Love, love, love these videos, Allie. Greetings from Canada. Nice to meet you, Nikki. Thanks for your review on the lip crayon. Let's go ahead and swatch these. So the first one is the shade Koi from the Vinyl Lip. Again, these are different formulas, so this is kind of like a interesting ranking here, but I love this color so much. Natalie Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress. Looks so pretty. Look at that one. Ooh, that's really, really nice. And then the color that I had in the crayon is, it's Stay Exceptional, which Nikki actually did mention. Oh, I'm happy that I had the one that she talked about. There's the crayon right there. So there's the three shades that were mentioned in the Superstay line from Maybelline. These are what ranked in second place and they really are such great longwear formulas, all three of them. Are we ready for the first place winner? Um, this one ranked in number one by a landslide with 91 votes, my friends. Drum roll, please. Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution lipsticks, okay? <laughs> There were several different shades that were mentioned. Almost half were the Pillow Talk original. So that's actually what I'm wearing on my lips, if you were wondering. Let's hear what you guys had to say about this formula. Andrea said, I'm sure this will be a popular answer. Yes, it's number one, <laughs> but for good reason. This color is so beautiful and so versatile. I like that I can alter it slightly with a liner or gloss on top or just as is, and it's gorgeous no matter what. It's such a staple and I find myself reaching for it more than any other lipstick in my collection. It goes with so many looks. Love you and this series, Ali. Thanks for always making me smile with your videos. You made me smile with your review, Andrea. Thank you so much, you're the sweetest. Ophelia said, I think this is one of the best matte lipsticks. It's comfortable on the lips, matte but not dry. The shade Very Victoria is my fave and my go-to. Greetings from Taiwan. 
Thank you, Ophelia. Very Victoria is one of my favorite shades too, which I will swatch for you guys. Marlo said, and she was talking about Pillow Talk here, I love, love, love this lipstick. The formula is so comfortable and the scent gives me that comfy winter slash Christmas feeling. I loved that. This review is like so cute. The color matches everything, no matter what I wear or what time of day it is. It is truly my go-to lipstick if I don't know what to choose. Hugs and best wishes from the Netherlands. Your channel really helped me to get better at using makeup, specifically eyeshadow. Thank you, Allie. Thank you, Marlo. Hello, you're so sweet. I loved what you said about the comfy wintry Christmas feeling with this. I just thought that was so cozy and it's true. Like this formula does have a vibe like that. So I thought that was so fun that you mentioned it. McCready said, this lipstick is the most comfortable formula I've ever tried. I find that most lipstick formulas are about the same from drugstore to higher end brands. However, I can't find a matte formula as comfortable as this. I'm really picky about lipsticks I wear day to day. If I can feel it on my lips, I just wanna take it off. Not this lipstick. The formula is so lightweight and comfortable that I can wear all day, every day. Love you, Allie. Your videos brighten my day and I always look forward to watching your content. Thank you so much. You're the sweetest. So yeah, those were four of the reviews that were submitted for the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution formula. Let me swatch the top shades for you now. Okay, so obviously the first number one shade is the original Pillow Talk. So many people <laughs> mentioned this one. Um, another shade that was mentioned quite often, and keep in mind there were several. I'm just kind of like touching on a few of them that I noticed quite a bit. The second one being Very Victoria, which is this one right here. They look so similar swatch, but honestly, when they're applied on the lips, they're different. Very Victoria is a little bit more muted and a little bit less pink. Um, it's really, really pretty. And then another one that was mentioned quite a bit is Pillow Talk Medium, which is one of my personal faves, actually. It's gorgeous. It's a little bit deeper. You still get that like Pillow Talk effect, but it's a little bit more amped up and rich. So there's the three top shades that were mentioned. Hopefully these hand swatches were helpful for you guys to kind of get a feel for the formula and some of the top colors. But yeah, these are the top shades in the top formula that was submitted. All right, you guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what the top 10 lipsticks were according to you. Huge thanks to everybody who submitted. You guys, again, are what make these fun. It's so fun for me to read through your submissions, your reviews. I just love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much for taking the time to submit your favorite lipstick for this video. It means the world to me, and these are some of my favorite videos to film. So if you'd like to help me, with my last videos in this series, whether it's gloss, brows, setting spray, or all of them. If you got favorites for all of them, please submit them. I would love to hear from you guys. So I will have all those linked down below for you. If you wanna see any of the previous episodes that I filmed in this series, I'll have the playlist for you guys in the description box down below. But thank you again for everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the rankings or if you feel like there was something missing. If you were like, no, absolutely not. The number one lipstick should have been this. Tell us in the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would also love for you to do that. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a video from me. That's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.